Hello everyone, it is August 29th, 2020, and this is the tech vlog for today. I have a couple little updates about stuff that's happening down here in the basement. Some of them are really, really freaking cool, and I'm excited to do more with these things that I've acquired. And one of them is what you're looking at right here. It's a ViewSonic E50 CRT. As you can see, it looks pretty great, especially compared to the uh, starting to yellow speakers that are down here. That uh, These are also a new addition, the Cambridge Soundworks speakers, which are just rebranded creative speakers. Those are quite big and sound quite amazing for early 2000s speakers. But <laughs> that is nothing in comparison to this find. Now you might be thinking, well, it's just a ViewSonic CRT. What the hell is so interesting? I mean, it looks good, right? You know, no scratches, no scuffs birds are all intact. Well, this I picked up brand new in the box. And to top it all off, I got it for free. I didn't pay a dime for it. I found it on Friday and brought it home same day. And well, here it is. And as some proof to that, here is the box it came in. This is, I mean, my theory, which is probably true, is that this was purchased by a school, which I I know it was purchased by a school, and set in a supply closet or an IT department for 18 years uh, until they just decided to get rid of it. And yeah, it's it's been, it was shipped, whoops, there's the camera, it was shipped in 2002. So it has been sitting in this box at least for 18 years. It was purchased from buy.com also. Um, which is no longer a thing. I think they went away in about 2010. But yeah, there's the box. It looks brand new, and, well, it was brand new. I was the first person to open it. Unfortunately, the, the guy at work who does inventory um, did cut the tape and open it up to make sure it was actually a monitor in there, which is original tape. Why wouldn't it be? So a tiny bit bummed about that, that I didn't get to break the seal on it, but it was, in fact, brand new, had never been looked at by any other humans. And here it is. So, it looks great. It looks like it probably did from the factory. Um, having a little trouble focusing because of the black of the screen there. Trying to find a good spot. That's a better one. Um, this is probably more of a consumer grade than a professional grade monitor. I mean, it most definitely is. It's it's nothing special. The specs aren't all that great. Um, best resolutions 800 by 600 up to a max of 1024 by 768. It'll do 85 hertz at 800 by 600. And uh, it looks clear. If, I mean, it's never been used, so it's still calibrated from the factory. It's adjusted properly. It doesn't flicker. It's it's a really quick... It's just a kick-ass monitor um, for the for the price, I guess, and given its condition, you can't find a better deal than that. So that I've been really excited about, and I've been playing with that quite a bit over the weekend. This down here is the monitor I brought home originally to basically just have a CRT monitor down here. That's going to go back to work on Monday. Definitely not keeping that anymore. It's a pretty basic uh, Dell CRT. I probably would have kept it I would have been more inclined to keep it if it didn't have burn-in, and unfortunately it does have burn-in. There's a Windows 2000 lock screen burnt into the screen, which is kind of a bummer. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, what else we got going on? Well, right here is the iMac screen for the 27-inch iMac, and, well, here is the iMac without a screen. Let me explain what's happening so, I've owned this iMac for over 10 years now, and it's very rare that the, well, any of the fans ramp up on their own. Uh, they do a little bit, they fluctuate, you know, 200, 300 RPM, they go, for example, the CPU fans, well, most of them, idle at about 900 or uh, 1000 RPM. The CPU fan doesn't usually go over 1200 on its own. And, of course, because I do have dual SSDs in here that is not a Western Digital hard drive, I have the sensor disconnected there. 
Um, I do control this hard drive fan manually. I set that to about 1300 RPM. And uh, for the past 10 or so years, that has worked just fine. And it still is working, I should say. It, nothing is really wrong, as far as I can tell. But my CPU fan is now ramping up all by itself, as you would expect, I might add, when the PC or when the Mac is hot, all the way up to its max of 2100 RPM, and then it goes back down slowly. And I, I don't know what to make of that. I've, as I said, owned it for so long, and it has never done that before. I can't say I'm unhappy, but I definitely do notice the fan noise. And despite the fan running so much and the temperature seeming to be pretty good, I mean, definitely hot, but fine, I took the screen off of this thing, and my god, it is freaking hot in there. It is so much hotter than I've ever experienced before when I've taken this thing apart. So I don't know what the hell is going on with it. It seems to run just fine. It's just a bit noisy, and... I took it apart. I think I did this maybe a year ago. I took it apart. I cleaned out all the dust. I repasted the CPU, repasted the GPU. I made sure all the fans, all the heat sinks were cleaned out. Nothing was in the way of anything else. And I'm, I mean, there's no point in really repasting it again. I'm sure it's fine. I put enough on there. Didn't put too much on there. Not that it really makes a difference. And there's no real buildup of any dust. I mean, a little bit of dust on the CPU fan, but it hasn't been clean in a year. So I'm going to dust it out, but I... I'm a little worried <laughs> that something is going on with the iMac, and I don't know what to make of it, so... Yeah, we'll see. Now I should add, um, I think I've mentioned this before, I have a job at a computer refurbishing and recycling place, and I am the Mac technician, I've worked on probably 50 of these 27-inch models, and which is probably over a thousand of the 21 and a half inch models. And uh, there's a couple models that do seem to ramp up the CPU fan as necessary. Usually those are the uh, Core i3, I think it's an i3-540 models from mid-2011, I think. Or maybe it's 2010, I, I don't actually recall what year it was, but they've got the i3-540, and those seem to ramp up just as my 27-inch is doing, and I don't know what to make of it. As far as I know, there haven't been any firmware updates. Oh, shit. You know what? As I'm saying it out loud, maybe that is part of what's happening here. About a month or so ago, I... Um, what did I do? Oh, I reinstalled the OS. I had to reinstall... I guess I didn't have to, but I was having an issue with Time Machine that I could not resolve. Driving me absolutely mad, and it just wouldn't let me back up. I was always looking for backup disk, and I had browsed every forum post you could possibly think of and asked everybody, and they're like, oh, just, just reset the preferences file, or delete the file, delete the plist file. Yeah, I did all that. <laughs> and nothing helped. So I ended up reinstalling. It was time for a clean install anyway. It was probably four years since I had originally done it. And while installing, it did the long beep and did the firmware update. And maybe that is why it happened. Holy crap. Well, I guess it's a good thing I was talking about it. Um, now, with that said, I, w I was talking before about the temps. They seem pretty good, and they don't seem like it's overheating, so maybe, maybe they pushed a firmware update for a 2010 iMac that updated the, the fan control? I don't, I have no freaking idea. I, I am perplexed, but yeah, that, that is something. So anyway, other minor things to talk about down here. Still trying to sell my PowerHack G5. I had a couple people offer me what I thought was not really a reasonable offer, and I didn't even entertain their offer, to be honest. It was like, I'll give you 400 bucks for it. No, <laughs> you won't. 
GPU alone is 200, CPU alone is 200, there's your 400. So, um, I guess I'm not really in any hurry to get rid of this. I'm definitely not using it anymore, but I will wait till the correct person comes along and wants to purchase this. Maybe, maybe I'll get my money that I want for it, but who knows. In other news, not tech-related... Oh, by the way, I'm also selling my Lenovo T530 laptop, so if you are at all interested in that, um, and you've made it 10 minutes into a tech vlog, so that's probably four of you, uh, feel free to make me an offer. 8 gig of RAM, i7-3520, and uh, 256 gig SSD. It's a great machine, but I don't use it. In other tech-related, uh, sorry, non-tech-related news, as I just said, I cleaned up the basement a little bit, which you may not know because I haven't really showed off the basement. But we also got a new water heater. That was a bit of an unexpected thing. Came down one morning to get some laundry out of the dryer and noticed that you can still kind of see it where the water pooled up right around here and down there. That the, uh, the hot water heater was leaking. A very slow leak, but it was a steady leak. So, unfortunately, it wasn't like a drip that we could kind of ignore for a little while. It was full-on steady stream of water. So, ended up replacing that with a brand new, just kind of not that amazing water heater. It's a small house. There's one bathroom. It doesn't really matter. So, that's, uh, that, that is that. Cleaned up the basement floor a lot before you can even see this walkway here. And you'd probably have to walk to, you know, come in from the carpet and walk around here to the carpet in order to get into the workshop over here because it was just so filled with crap that didn't need to be in here. But now it's all gone. So that's awesome. Anyway, I think... I'm going to uh, dust out this iMac, just give it a little bit of a clean, and then reassemble it, I suppose, and keep running it as is. It's not getting that hot. It's, you know, not all that. Not unexpectedly hot. What am I trying to say? It's within reason, the temperature. So I'm just going to put it back together and keep running it as is and trust that Apple's engineers in 2010 knew what they were doing. Oh boy. Anyway, thank you for watching this tech vlog. It's been quite a long one compared to some of the more recent ones, so thankfully you all stuck in there till the end. As always, thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you whenever the next video happens to be.